Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm Elder Robel, and today I'll be leading you in our uh, devotion. Our devotion will be coming from the book written by Dr. John MacArthur entitled Strength for Today. We are now on our sixth month of this COVID-19 pandemic. At marami ng takot ang namumuo sa ating mga puso, no? Even as Christians, we have fears in our heart. And one of them will be fear of getting infected with COVID-19, fear of getting hospitalized, be, be put on isolation, and worse, suffer death. Fear of losing our jobs. Fear of not being able to pro provide for our families. And now, as we can hear from the news, read from the news, and even in Facebook, people now are experiencing depression because of COVID-19. What is our hope? As believers and Dr. John MacArthur wrote this devotional he entitled it the Lord who provides in our text Genesis 22 verses 13 to 14 let's read and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold behind him was a ram caught caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, The Lord Will Provide. As it is said to this day, On the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. And Dr. John MacArthur wrote, The Old Testament gives God many names but one of the most lovely is jehovah jireh translated in verse 14 of today's passage as the lord will provide it is so much a characteristic of god than it is his name ang ganda po nung sinabi ni dr john macarthur yung pangalang jehovah jireh it is more than a name of god but it is a characteristic of God. Our God is a God who provides. And we have seen that from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament. He continued, We would never question that God is love, that God is great and mighty and holy and just and good. But some question whether God provides. And aminin natin o hindi, lahat tayo sa palagay ko ay dumaan doon. That one time in our life or more, we doubt and are afraid that God isn't going to meet our needs. That is exactly what the Lord speaks in Matthew 6, 25-34, when He says, in summary, Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or, What shall we wear? The Lord is still Jehovah Jireh. That is His name. And it is synonymous with one of His attributes and God our Jehovah Jireh has provided for us our ultimate need and that is our need for salvation and he provided that perfect lamb to die on our behalf so that we will have salvation Dr. John MacArthur continued, God is a God who provides. 
And that is why David said, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. Psalm 37 verse 25. King David, a king, has seen it. He has seen that no righteous will ever be forsaken by God. No righteous will ever beg for food. The world digs and scratches and claws to make sure it has enough. Unlike the world, your father knows your needs, and he will always give you what you need. Isn't that a great promise? God will always give what we need. You don't have to own everything, and you don't have to control everything to meet your needs. You can receive what God gives you to invest in His eternal kingdom and put away all anxiety about your needs. Worship God with your life and rest assured in His promise to provide for you. Dr. John MacArthur ended with this quote, When God provides for a believer, He is being true to His name. Brothers and sisters, what is our need during this time of pandemic, COVID-19? Growing up as a believer, I thought God being our Jehovah Jireh speaks of pagkain sa mesa, pera sa bulsa, magandang bahay, maayos sa tahanan, but as I grew up in my Christian life, I learned that it's more than that. And in this pandemic, what do we need? First, we need security from the virus. Take heart, my brothers and my sisters. The Lord, our Jehovah Jireh, will provide shield for us so that this COVID-19 virus will not be able to penetrate our physical bodies. Are we afraid of getting infected, be hospitalized, put on isolation, and even die because of COVID-19? Take heart again. The Lord is our Jehovah Jireh. He will provide healing for us. Although His healing may come in two ways. He may choose to heal COVID-19 in our body and let us live to continue serving Him or the Lord will choose to heal COVID-19 from our body and all the rest of our sicknesses and take us home with Him in glory. Malungkot yung pangalawa. People that we will be left behind will be sorrowful, will miss their loved ones. That is why as part of a church, we have to stand with our brothers and sisters who have lost their loved ones to this pandemic. Let's pray with them. Let's pray for them. Let's comfort them. And if possible, let's provide for their needs as long as we can. And in both ways, whether we live past COVID-19 or we succumb to COVID-19 by God's grace, both will lead to the glory of God. I remember John 
chapter 11 when the messenger from Mary and Martha said to Jesus, Your friend Lazarus is sick. And the Lord said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. Indeed, brother, no sickness will ever lead us to death. Death spiritually. It may lead us to death physically, but in the economy of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, death is compared to being asleep. That's why when Jesus said, Let's go to Bethany, I will awaken Lazarus. Believers only sleep because one of this day the Lord will awaken us again to give us our glorified body and be with Him in eternity. Do we fear of losing our jobs? Do we fear that we will not be able to provide for our families? There will be no enough food on the table, no enough money to pay the bills, pay the rentals. Take heart, brothers and sisters. The Lord is our Jehovah Jireh. He will provide for our daily needs. Are we anxious? Do we worry? Do we feel depressed? Again, take heart. The Lord is our Jehovah Jireh. He will provide peace, comfort to us. All we have to do is to believe that He is our Jehovah Jireh. Have faith in Him. Trust Him. Even in the midst of this pandemic, He will always provide for all our needs. In closing, let me share to you this song that I've learned when I was still growing up, still young in my Christian life. It's in my head. I forgot who the author was or is. The, 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 the song is entitled, Jehovah Jireh, My Provider. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches in glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Indeed, brothers and sisters, Jehovah Jireh cares for us. Trust Him, depend on Him. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You for Your Word. We thank You, Lord, that You are, that you are our Jehovah Jireh. And You will always provide, Lord, for Your people, for Your children. And Lord, we thank You. Help us, Lord, that whenever we fear this pandemic, Lord, this COVID-19. Help us, Lord, remember you are our Jehovah Jireh. You will provide a shield for us. And if ever, Lord, you allowed us to go through COVID-19, help us, Lord, to, to remember you are our Lord, our Jehovah Jireh. You will provide healing for us. And Lord, if we are anxious of losing our job, losing provisions, Lord, for our families, Lord, we pray, help us to remember you are our Lord, our Jehovah Jireh, and you will always provide for our needs. Lord, if there is some people, some of your children who are suffering, anxiety, worry, depression, Lord. Please, Lord, impress upon their hearts 
you are our Lord, our Jehovah Jireh. You will provide peace, comfort in our hearts. Help us, Lord, trust in you. Believe that you are our Jehovah Jireh. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. All these things, Lord, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you for joining me. God bless everyone.